New Year's Eve tragedy in Montgomery, Alabama. We'll get into what happened on this very quick episode of Taking Off. Hi, I'm Dan Milliken. That's Chewy, the co-pilot. And before we get to this very sad news, I do want to wish you all a happy new year and may 2023 have fewer aviation accidents. Now let's turn to the horrible news out of Alabama. 2022 went out with a very tragic ending for one grounds crew member at the Montgomery Regional Airport. Around 3 p.m. on December 31st, a Piedmont ground crew member was sucked into the engine of a regional jet and he was killed. Here's what we know. All right, the airplane was an Embraer E-175 and it had just landed and arrived at the gate. A ground crew member was too close to the operating engine, the left engine, and was killed. The whole Montgomery Regional Airport was immediately shut down. An initial report said they were gonna stay shut down through Sunday, January 1st, but as of Sunday morning, they were already open. No other injuries have been reported and no one on the plane was hurt. For those not familiar with how the procedures work during the taxi up to the gate and airplane shutdown, a jet will taxi in on the left engine, the number one engine. And after landing, the crew will shut down the number two after a cooling down period of maybe two minutes and continue the taxi. Power, which is usually supplied by the number one engine during operation, is switched over to the auxiliary power unit or APU as soon as they can after landing. This way, there's no interruption of the power in the cabin for the passengers. They can keep using air conditioning and all that. Once the jet stops, the flight crew will shut down the left engine and turn off the red beacon located on the fuselage on top and on bottom. The ground crew will connect the ground power unit or GPU and the pilots can turn off the APU. And until the beacon is turned off, personnel are to stay outside a safety envelope and not move in. And once the beacon has been turned off, the crew then moves in to chalk the tires, connect the GPU, and move the equipment in to begin unloading passengers, baggage, and cargo. But nothing or no one is to move in until that red beacon goes out. Details are still few, and I'm sure more information will soon be coming out. Reuters reports that the ground crewman was a baggage handler. The FAA and American Airlines have confirmed uh, it was American Airlines Flight 3408 and happened at the gate where the airplane was parked. The Embraer E-175 is a two-engine regional jet that typically has a flight crew of two pilots and two flight attendants. Most of the airlines run a configuration of around 78 to 80 passengers. The plane uses the GE CF-34-8E engines that are about 10 feet in length and have a di diameter of about four and a half feet. The engine on the E-175 sits with a clearance above the ground of a few feet, maybe three or four. This is extremely sad and we pray for the family. Horrible way for them to start 2023. That's all I've got. Thanks to our sponsors. We have some info and some deals in the description below. So please check them out. Stay safe and remember, superior judgment trumps superior skills. Why are you crying, boy?